What's up? It's your boy Oscar Rivera, aka Two Ten. So I'm pretty much wrapped up with my speaking component or contribution to Steubenville on the Bayou. But let me recap a little bit of what went down. In the men's session, I wanted to explain how absolutely glorious we are. That we are men that should be seeking our identity in God. That he reveals to us the fullness of what it means to be man. See, society tends to confuse that. It tends to manipulate it, distort it. The definition of men is, is so radically off. It's either a very macho man who's closed off to emotions and, and people and things, or, or he's stuck, unsure whether or not he's male. Now, from a spiritual standpoint, we're created in the image and likeness of God. I spoke about how my son wants to be He-Man and Spider-Man and, and all these superheroes and sometimes he wants to be a cheetah or a bull or an ox. But ultimately, at the end of the day, he just wants to be his daddy. That, that's who we want to be. We want to be like God the Father. We want to imitate, find our identity in that in which we are created. We end it realizing that his love will never fail us. No matter how much we turn away, no matter how much we think we, we've walked away from God or we've left God or we've rationalized how he doesn't exist and why he doesn't exist, it, it doesn't matter. His love is unchanging. His love will remain the same. His love will never fail us in the midst of our depression, our anxiety, regardless of whether we speak it or not. He's there. He wants to take that from you. Yeah, individuals who are struggling with their sexuality or individuals that are struggling with, with their, their sex in terms of whether they're male or female. That gender dysphoria, like there's, his love never fails. He's not going to turn his back on you. He loves you as you are and he makes absolutely zero mistakes. But when will we come to realize that? Next session was relationships revealed. We just kind of talked about relationships in general. How do we stay within a dating relationship? What is it about relationships that we should know about? And the number one thing that a relationship isn't about self-taking, but it's more about self-giving. It's not about what can you do for me as much as how can I lead you closer to heaven? How can I lead you to be a better person? How can I help you reach your greatest potential? It's not about taking, it's about giving. Relationships about sacrifice. Ultimately, we talked about a lot of things in that relationship. Component. But we had some questions and people asked questions like, what are the signs of relationship being toxic? It's toxic when it just becomes about self, communities excluded, you've isolated yourself. You cut off friends and family and everything. Like that type of isolation becomes toxic. Other questions came up like, why does the church hate sex? It doesn't. The church doesn't hate sex. The church hates what the world has made sex to be, where it distorted its beauty, its purpose. And even with that, the church is still leading by the example of Christ and leading with mercy. But we don't we don't see that because we're too busy reading headlines. If you think you're ready for a relationship, then here's, here's a point of faith. Number one, be okay with you. Be okay with you. Do not get in a relationship with the expectation that that person is going to find your identity or love you more than you love yourself. Like, be okay with you. We all have problems, and even in the midst of knowing each other, we're going to bring some sort of something to the relationship. It happens. That Jesus bought his cross to show his bride how much he loved her, his bride being the church. We, we can bring our crosses, but realize that it's, it's our crosses. He didn't expect Simon to carry his cross, but Simon did. He didn't expect Veronica to wipe his face, but she did. He carried the cross and knew where he needed to go. Relationships, just be ready. Be ready. 
You're ready to give, to sacrifice, and in that, true love will never fail. You're done with, done with.